Hello, this video is a video response to uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. They had a question. The question was, why do we watch Off Grid with Doug and Stacy? There are a lot of reasons why we watch Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I feel the ultimate reason is uh, I want to live off grid too. I've always wanted to be in a small house also. For um, about two and a half years, we actually lived in an RV um, on purpose, not because we had to, because we wanted to. We even ended up putting a wood stove in it. We spent one winter in Kansas and two winters up here in Alaska in the RV. I really enjoyed their outdoor kitchen, the way it turned out. It really looks sharp. Uh, Alright, so if you're new to our channel, uh, we call the people that hang around our channel Homestead Homies. Um, and we always like to throw that in our videos. Um, and we also have t-shirts available that say, I'm a homestead homie. Uh, they're just kind of fun, help support our channel. Uh, today we're doing an out outdoor kitchen update. Um, in the previous video, you saw that we got all the walls on. Um, we did, this is T111 siding, and we've turned it sideways. It is meant to go eight feet up and four feet wide, but we flipped it on its side so it could mimic the outdoor kitchen. It doesn't hurt anything of uh, the integrity of the plywood or anything like that, but it adds for a really excellent look. If you, uh, I mean, don't you agree? Um, Stacy does a lot of videos on um, healthy foods, um, fermenting foods. Some things she ferments I never even thought of. She recently did a video on uh, baking soda, baking powder. And the biggest tip in that video was how to tell if they're still fresh. What's up, Homestead Homies? It's Oscar with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy. And today we are going to talk about the differences between baking powder and baking soda. So here's the baking powder that I just made. So if you're, you're going to check your baking powder to see if it's still good, you're just going to put like a teaspoon or so in your jar. And then with the teaspoon, I'm going to probably put, you know, like a third of a cup of water or so in there. And I'm going to watch for a reaction and see if it fizzes. And it is. See it? It's fizzing up. So I know that's good. It's fresh. I just made it. The way you can tell if your baking soda is good is you just get a little bit. You know, you can do a teaspoon or even less. And then you need any kind of vinegar. It can be white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, any kind of vinegar. You just put a little squirt on here. And here's a great science experiment for the kids. <laughs> I love to use this to clean. It's the best cleaning in your bathtub and your sink. Makes a good volcano too for a science experiment. Doug did a video not too long ago about honey and there was a lot of information in that one. So today I'm going to show you guys a method on how you can rejuvenate your honey. So I guess it boils down to the fact that we just like watching your videos. They're enjoyable to watch. My wife and I can sit down and watch a video um, and we can gleam a little bit of information out of it. If you've never watched Off Group with Doug and Stacy, which to me would be hard not to at least run across one of their videos, you ought to go check them out. So if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.